Hey there, Jason here from FireWhite. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect an eMatch protective device or EPD between a control panel and a statics generator. We're installing an EPD to protect the system against high voltages like a lightning strike. This is also a requirement to comply with statics UL listing. Today I'll show you how the EPD should be wired when connecting the generator with a Kentec panel. Refer to the specific panel manufacturer's installation manuals when determining if an EPD is required or contact us at technical at statics.com. Now before I show you the proper way to install an EPD, there are a couple things I'd like to point out. First, the EPD has a capacitor in it. If the capacitor has been placed on an active system or somehow charged, then the unintentional activation of an aerosol generator could occur. So before installing, short the leads just in case. Make sure all power is removed from the system. There may be instances where you can't do that, so you may need to isolate the circuit. Before installing an EPD, do a safety check to ensure that there are no voltages present by using a reliable multimeter. Now lay out your extinguishing circuit to encompass the number of generators you have. For example, I have five aerosol generators, so I will need five EPDs. For this video, I've kept my wire run short, but yours may be longer. There are multiple ways to connect wires and it's important to use best practices or industry standards in your location. If there is an improper connection, keep in mind this could result in a panel alarm going off, such as a supervisory alarm, or it could potentially charge the capacitor and you may inadvertently fire a statics device. Therefore, it is imperative that all EPDs be handled in a manner which assumes they will initiate the aerosol generator. I cannot stress that enough. Now you can connect the EPD and the generator circuit to the panel's extinguishing output connections. As always, if you have any questions about this video or want to see additional videos, please comment below or go to our YouTube channel, Fireway Inc. Otherwise, please email us at technicalatstatics.com. We'll see you next time.